Hi, welcome to another video. So, in recent times, Google Stitch has received a good number of upgrades. They don't have a change log, which makes it hard to pinpoint, but there's one major change that they talked about in a tweet. And because I use it often, I have also noticed a lot of smaller upgrades. That's why I thought of talking about all the updates, because it's really much better than the first time I covered it. So, if you don't know about Google Stitch, then it used to be an independent company, which I think was called Galileo. But then Google bought it and transformed it into Google Stitch. This is an AI design tool that allows you to basically build UI designs and then export them as an image, code, or whatever you need. It also allows you to bring in your Figma designs or anything else and build out some cool stuff. For a tutorial on it, you can check out my previous Stitch video, but this one is about the updates. First of all, the experimental mode limit is now increased to 100 generations a month, which is more than enough, and it is free. So, it's always great to have such limits. They have also added the 2.5 Pro model in their experimental mode, along with translation support for 30 plus countries, enhanced generation consistency and quality, and also a polished UI across the entire product. There's also some more smaller stuff, which I'll show you as I demo it. But one of the major new features is Canvas. Canvas now allows you to generate a bunch of designs that you may require for your entire user flow at once. This almost replaces what you would normally do with something like Figma, where you create a ton of designs for a user lifecycle at once, and then check how it looks and how consistent it is. But now, you can do the same thing in Stitch. Generate all the user flow screens at once, arrange them, and manage everything as well. So now, let's have a look at it and check it out for ourselves. But before proceeding, let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-4.0, Claude 4 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.5 Pro, all in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research, but what's really cool is their AI playground where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly, with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. Now, back to the video. First of all, this is what Stitch looks like. On the left, you have the examples and previous designs that you may have made, along with the prompt box in the center. Here, you can see two modes, which are standard and experimental. Standard probably uses a fine-tuned version of Flash, whereas the experimental variant uses the Pro model. The Pro model also allows you to attach designs from Figma or something similar in order to clone them, whereas the standard mode doesn't allow that. Also, the experimental option is a bit slower, whereas the standard mode is much faster. I'd recommend you use standard when you don't want to give it any multimodal input or external design to use. So, there's that. Also, there's now a settings option where you can turn off model training and other stuff if you want to be privacy focused. Anyway, now let's ask it to build something. I'm going to ask it to make me a simple movie tracker app design with authentication, a review ad screen, a calendar view, and everything. Now it will go ahead, and I'm using the experimental model here, and you can see that it will ask me if I want to design all the screens or not because it will go ahead and build out all the screens at once. I just ask it to do that, and it will go ahead and start building this out. This is pretty fast, considering how good the designs are that it makes here. 
it's way more improved than before, and even the experimental option is faster than before. I really enjoy building designs with it. In a bit, it gets done, and you can see all the designs here. It's actually quite great. It even generates asset images in order to make the design more lifelike instead of placeholder images. It would have been better if it searched for real images and just used those, but this is also great nonetheless. You can also now move these designs, which was not previously possible. So, if you want to put something before something else, then that is doable, and the AI will also be aware of the change made here. Another new thing here is that you can see it now gives you follow-up prompts in order to take these designs forward. Like here, it gives me this prompt, and I can just hit it, and it will go ahead and build out the design to get this done. This is also awesome, and you can potentially add a ton of designs here if you want to, which is kind of great for sure. Another thing I found new here is the tooltip bar. Previously, it wasn't this smooth, but now it's smoother, and you can open up a full screen view as well as export this into HTML in order to use it as a component or anything. It uses Tailwind, so you should be able to integrate this easily with little design changes. It would have been better if it allowed for direct export to React code, but that isn't available yet. Another thing is that you can now download the design directly with the download option, which will give you the code or the image as well. So, this is pretty good too. Since we are in the experimental mode, we can't change the colors. But if we were in the standard mode, then we could have done this quite easily. So, this is a bit of a bummer. You can also select any page and just ask for edits if you want to do that. Just let it run, and it will get the design exactly like you want. It is actually really good. Like, it's a really good option when you don't want the AI-looking design, and also don't want to go to Figma and build something out. Because it makes some good, consistent designs that you can give to your AI coder, and let it build out something good and better. That is majorly about it. I really liked the new updates and thought of talking about them as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.